I think this guy, uh, 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 based on what I've read and the investigation I've done, I think he was behind both Biggie and Tupac, <laughs> and 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 that changed that changed the dynamics of uh, hip hop. Yep. And uh, and I don't know. I'm I'm not a. I, I don't even follow any of these stories. My pure interest was what what he did to Tupac mm-hmm. and Biggie. And I'd like to get to the bottom of that because the guy's still around. I want to know what this guy did to those guys. Yep. Not a fan of what this guy did either, by the way. Uh, of course, it's not. So we know it's not what they say it's about, um, obviously. And I know there's a furious lobbying campaign by various investors hoping to scoop up TikTok cheap and from competing companies that want to crush a competitor. I get all of that. And some people are really bought and paid for in Washington. I don't want to blow your mind, but that's true. But there's also an ideological battle here. And a lot of the people voting to ban TikTok object to the messages on TikTok. Like, that's true. TikTok is owned by about 60% of it's owned by international investors from all over the world. 20% is owned by the uh, two Chinese uh, software engineers that created the app. And 20% is owned by the employees of TikTok, which 7,000 of them are Americans. So there's a significant nexus of Americans in the ownership and then there's a significant nexus of Americans using this. And they say, oh, well, the Chinese government owns it. It's just frankly not true. Now, the company that owns TikTok also owns something like TikTok that is censored, and the Chinese let the, that be broadcast throughout China. TikTok is owned by about 60% of it's owned by international investors from all over the world. 20% is owned by the uh, two Chinese uh, software engineers that created the app. And 20% is owned by the employees of TikTok, which 7,000 of them are Americans. So there's a significant nexus of Americans in the ownership. And then there's a significant nexus of Americans using this. And they say, oh, well, the Chinese government owns it. It's just frankly not true. Now, the company that owns TikTok also owns something like TikTok that is censored. And the Chinese let that be broadcast throughout China. Talk about Suge Knight. Talk about Tupac. Oh, he's a gangster. Could he end up on Death Row yeah. Records? <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens there. Death Row, really? Exactly. So, you know, the Me Too situation. You know, the reason that I wasn't like, yo, he's definitely guilty is because there's a spectrum on this. On one hand, you have the Harvey Weinstein stuff, the Bill Cosby stuff, the they Jeffrey have, Epstein stuff. You have okay, that, yeah. pretty fucking yeah. guilty. Yeah. And then you have the other stuff that's like, yeah, I don't know about that, bro. Andrew Tate, Johnny Depp, Innocent. Russell Brand, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Um, so th- there's a slippery slope with this. So, you know, on the Tim Dillon podcast, I was like, look, I'm not saying nothing. I've been to some of these ditty parties, bro. I'm not trying to catch a yeah. on invite. Here's the reality of what we don't know. Nobody knows. I live in Miami. I've lived in Miami my entire life. I've been involved in the... Who, who said? The thing is, is I don't know enough about X to know who his other investors are. Probably some of them live in foreign countries. But think of the whole list of countries that have unsavory things. I'm not a big fan of Egypt's government. They don't have elections. They have indefinite detention. They prosecute political and religious opponents. So do most of the countries in the Middle East. But I'm not about uh, I wouldn't give I wouldn't give Egypt any more military money, frankly. But I wouldn't ban your ability to trade with them. If you want to trade with Egypt, Having embargoes is different than me not giving them free money. A lot of weird things going on. One thirty in the morning today, guys. Apparently, allegedly, a bridge collapses because a ship who is ran by some professional people runs into the bridge. Can you play this clip, Rob, on how the bridge comes down? In, in, um... Watch this here, guys. Uh, go back a little bit. Watch this. Boom. Slow motion. Oh, oh my God, bro. Bridge goes down. I, and I wouldn't be surprised, but I would not be surprised if something happens to him in this thing. Because think about it. All the information, now all the stories, all these girls, everybody's coming forward. You're hearing about the Justin Bieber stuff. Now it's getting to a point, he has to be the fall guy. you got to be the fall guy. they got to find all the evidence because it's a, it's a known fact that he recorded everything. Just like Epstein. And can you imagine, Tom, you're hanging out and you get a phone call and you're, let's just say, like randomly speaking, you're Bill Clinton, who's been there 52 times, and somebody goes, Hey, Bill, they they just arrested him and everything's going to come out and he's going to sing like a canary. You said it a couple weeks ago. Remember the beginning of that movie, but Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, what was it? Leave the world world behind. behind. What's it open with? The ship that's coming. The ship is just coming and people are like, what the what's happening? Because it was an attack, cyber attack. That right there looks to me. How does it just boom, change course? Lights go out. That looks like that's you nailed it to Adam. An infrastructure attack. 
that could be something that's set up by by, by foreign agents. Who knows, bro? That's ra- that's really rare and random to see. You know, oh. you can you can speculate and go down that that path. I I can't verify that this came out today, um, but there is video of P- Pete Buttigieg talking about how uh, bridges are racist. Oh yeah, I love that. How uh, what? He <laughs> said bridges in the East Coast. This came out oh, a, yeah, while. a while. So let's see how racist this bridge was. It. Underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or it would have been, this is uh, in New York, yeah. was, was designed to New York. Uh, too low for it to pass by. But that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. <laughs> there's, um, there's a part of this that he's actually right, that because this is about reality. the book written by, what was everything. that power broker name in New York, Tom? Uh, uh, do you know who I'm talking about, the power broker in New York? Uh, what was the guy's name? Robert Morris or something like that. 